Why well, y'all there? Lord of mercy, what a blessing. I'm Dan. I'd like to welcome everyone to my home in the sticks and the hits farm. Wherever you are at in the world, I hope you're doing well. And if you are new to the channel, I want to welcome you. And if you return and just to see what old Dan's got going on over here in East Central Mississippi, I thank you for coming back. So in today's video, what we're going to talk about is something that plagues a lot of us, and that's dead batteries. Dead batteries on our lawnmowers, tractors, any type of equipment that uses a 12 volt battery. So let's get after it. So a company by the name of EcoWorthy reached out to me several weeks ago and they wanted me to take a look at their 25 watt solar panel kit and it is a maintainer kit. And I said, you know, that would be something really, really useful to share with you and y'all just in case you're in a situation like mine where you're always dealing with uh, dead batteries on equipment. So I'm gonna spin you around and I'm gonna show you what they sent me. I'll give you a heads up, there's no unboxing in this video. I started uh, putting this together yesterday. Uh, today is the first day in several weeks that we haven't had any rain. We had Hurricane Francine or the remnants thereof come through. It's supposed to rain later on today, but I, today is the first day that I'm actually able to get out and show y'all what I've done so okay here is the kit that Eco Worthy sent out to me 25 watt battery charger kit and maintainer uh, cats and this is how it came to me now inside this box was a monocrystalline solar panel this u-bracket all of the hardware to install the U-bracket and install the U-bracket to, in my application, a 4x4 post. Comes with some instructions, fairly well written, alligator clip connectors, and a ring connector as well. One of the things that I really like are the plug and play connectors. I'm sure there's terminology for it, but that's what I call them. It's just easy to use, easy to connect everything up together. Now what I'm using this solar panel maintainer kit for is to keep the battery on my mule uh, topped off. I use this mule dang near daily here on the farm, but like many other things and many other folks, come winter time, this piece of equipment doesn't get used very often. So we do know that over time, a battery will, the charge in the battery will deplete over time, but this system which is a maintainer, and there's a difference between a charger and a maintainer. We'll talk about that here in a second. But what this solar panel does is it sends uh, small doses of voltage or current to the battery to keep, it, to keep it topped off. Now, the important thing to remember on this system is, the maintainer system, is your battery has to be at least 75% charged to begin with. If it's any lower than that, or if it's drained, it's, it's not really gonna work or it's gonna take a really long time to get that battery charged. So I'm gonna walk over here, I'm gonna show you uh, the battery system in this piece of equipment and how I'm using the solar, the solar charger, maintain the kit to keep my battery topped off. Okay, so what I'm running on this piece of equipment is an AGM battery. This is not the original battery for this piece of equipment. It's actually a larger battery and it's for a regular vehicle, but uh, considering how often I use it, stop and go, I just decided to put an AGM battery in here. Now how I have this hooked up is, I have one lead here on the negative and one lead here on the positive, which is this line here, and it goes into the solar charge controller. And by the way, this is a PWM solar charger and let's see, I'm showing that the panel is putting out and the only thing that this doesn't show is uh, what the solar panel is putting out. I'll show you some pictures of that. But uh, yeah, my battery's charging. And the way this works is, solar panel's out here. Here is a line coming off of the solar panel and it's running to the front of my mule. The line from the solar panel goes into the first input section of the 
charge controller, which is right here. For the 25 watt version of this system, I'm using the second set of inputs here on this line that's running down to the negative and positive of my battery. And it's just that simple. The important thing to remember is with a solar, with a solar system, when you set this up, you want to hook your charge controller up to your load first, which is the battery. So once you have your battery hooked up to your charge controller, at that time you can hook up your solar panel to the charge controller and get it charging. Now, this charge controller will do uh, several different types of batteries, uh, lithium, gel batteries, as well as flooded batteries. Uh, this is AGM, so I'm just running it as a gel battery. The thing that I like about this charge controller is how easy it is to select what battery you want to use or what battery you want this charge controller to uh, maintain. And you do that by pressing this button and holding it for five seconds and you will see that these uh, LEDs will flash. So every time you press the LEDs, one more will light up. Three are lit up, one's lit up, two's lit up, three's lit up. And then you go back to one. So one is for like a lithium battery, two flashing LEDs are for gel batteries, and three flashing LEDs are for uh, flooded batteries. So if you don't touch this button for five seconds, those two LEDs will remain lit, and now this thing is programmed. Okay, Dan, you need to use this mule. How do you disconnect it from the whole system? Real easy. To disconnect this uh, charge controller from my batteries, all I have to do is just disconnect it from this quick disconnect right here. And I just set this whole thing off to the side. If I wanted to, I'd probably, I could also just disconnect the panel, the solar panel as well. But yeah, this is what I have to work with. So that's how I'm going to run with it. Now, is that an unorthodox way to run it? Yeah, it's really unorthodox. But it's, this is what I have to work with. Um, I only have six foot of cable. This is where I park my mule. And guess what? It's working for me. So you just have to see how uh, this kind of setup would work for you and your application. Now, real quickly, let's not, I don't want to confuse anybody with uh, a solar a charger and a maintainer. A maintainer is just that. It maintains a battery. It sends a small doses of current to the battery to keep it at a certain voltage. When the battery doesn't need it anymore, the charge controller shuts everything off and it just floats until that battery drains a little bit and then it kicks in and it'll start charging it or maintaining that battery again. Now on a charger, which is a lot different, it actually sends a lot of current uh, to that battery to bring it up to where it needs to be normally 12 volt and it stays there the big difference is on a charger you have to disconnect it because you could overcharge a battery with a maintainer which is a system that i'm using i could just leave it on all the time and not have any problems well all right short video that's what i wanted to share with you and y'all today a eco worthy 25 watt solar kit a maintainer kit that i'm going to be using to maintain the battery on my mule i may also move it over to my tractor come time or i may even get another one we're just going to see how this one works but the thing to know is this system is not just for uh, batteries you can use it for lights you can use it in your chicken coop there's a lot of things that you can use a system like this for but for my application it's to keep them daggum batteries charged up because they're always draining real quick so again, I hope everybody's having a great week, and I hope everybody's staying safe amid the crisis that's still going on. If you uh, like this video, go and give it a thumbs up to help. If you haven't subscribed to the Home 6 channel, Lord of Mercy. Y'all need to come over and give old Dan a look, because I'm always doing stuff like messing with another solar kit. With that being said, you know it's coming, Dan Reference Show Enough. Always gonna say it. Don't let nobody do your shine. And I mean nobody. You show sure enough to get your shine on, be you, it's important. And Dan will see you and y'all in the next video.